Hello, today I'll be coding a pure CSS shaded cube. So we're going to have a cube element, and then we're going to have five out of six faces. Only five out of six are visible. So cube. And this is it for the structure. Now for the styling, we're going to have an edge length, let's say 45 viewport minimum units, so that everything scales nicely with the viewport. And then we're going to have cube face, set the dimensions, we're going to have a width equal to that edge length, and the same for the height, change this to height, um, and then let's set the background just so that we can see stuff. Uh, let's also set a dummy box shadow so that we can see the edges, something like this. Okay, uh, next, for all divs, we're going to have position absolute. Um, then here we're going to have top 50%, left 50%, 50, sorry. Um, and one more thing we're going to set here on the cube, transform style, preserve 3D. Okay. Um, and we want everything dead in the middle, so here we're going to have a negative margin. Uh, minus half the edge length. Okay, uh, and here we're going to set transform, uh, rotate 3D, and we're going to have a component of the vector, um, of the vector defining the rotation axis along the x-axis along the uh, y-axis and along the z-axis it's always going to be zero and then we're going to have a calc um, and here we're going to have a multiplier times 90 degrees and then uh, finally we're going to have translate by half the edge length. Okay, so um, something like this. Now here we're going to set a transform rotate x minus 25 degrees let's say uh, rotate y 45 degrees and now we should see the whole thing in 3D. Um, and we're going to set some defaults, so for i we're going to have the default is 0, uh, for j we're going to have that the default is calc 1 minus i, and for n we're going to set uh, the default, um, actually let's call this p, um, the default is going to be 1. Um, Okay, so next thing that I want to do is have a loop here. So for i from 0 to 4, if i is different from 1, we don't need to set it again because and that's the default. Um, and in that case, nth child i plus 1. We're going to set p to the loop index. Okay. Now, finally, what we're going to do is um, last child. We're going to have i is one. Okay, um, let's say Okay, this, um, this shows everything well enough Okay, uh, now let's say we want this to be, uh, 
25. So we see the thing from the bottom. Um, to make this clearer, back, back face visibility hidden. As you can see, um, the last face is also at the top, is still at the top, no matter the sign here. So what we're going to do is set this to an AX value. Um, and then we're going to compute the sign of this AX value, which is AX oops, over the absolute value. And now that I have this sign, I'm going to compute another multiplier, and this one is going to be calc um, j minus i times the sign. Okay, and I'm going to use this multiplier, I'm going to also use it here. Okay. So now if I change the sign of this AX value, I'm going to have the last face at the bottom there. Okay, so now that I've done this, let's start something like a rotation. So I'm going to go from zero. Let's collapse the face for now. I'm going to have keyframes rotate R2 something like this except here I'm going to have one turn um, and here I'm going to have animation um, let's collapse this as well and we're going to set also an animation duration, let's say something like 8 seconds. So I'm going to have rotation on um, that animation duration, linear, infinite. So uh, yeah, this uh, should do it. Rotation around the y-axis, and I can have a different sign there. It doesn't really matter. Now, one more thing I'm going to do here. Um, let's collapse this. We're not going to need it anymore. And we're going to have an after element. This one is going to have display block um, height inherit content nothing. Um, and it's going to have a background block. Okay, um, and for it we're going to have an animation, a second animation. We're going to have keyframes fade. So we're going to start at opacity 0. So here we're going to have animation fade. Um, half the same animation duration um, infinite alternate and it's also going to have an animation delay uh, p times minus t over 4 so uh, this should do it and as you can see, this works. It's not exactly the best easing. We can have something like ease out. Um, actually, let's tweak this ease out a bit. Uh, we want it slower at the start though.
something like this, for example. Um, so let's take this um, and copy paste this timing function here. Okay, and um, for the last child, uh, we wanted to uh, rotate to be a gradient and rotate the same way as um, on the, the whole cube, only in the other direction. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this out of here and we're going to uh, set it to an initial transform. So um, in doing so, So again, we're going to have initial, um, and here we're going to have And the thing is, we can't use rotate y, so what we're going to do is have also a k here, and this one is going to be equal to i, and we're going to have a vector, and this vector is going to be uh, 0, j, uh, k. So um, what we're going to have here is rotate 3d, and we're going to have that vector. And again, here we're going to have the same. Um, so here we're going to have a linear gradient um, to an HSL, HSL A volume, 0, 0, 0. So um, we zero the saturation and the lightness, and we're going to have some transparency, and this transparency is going to be uh, J. Sorry. Okay. Uh, this works. Now, what I'm going to need to um, use, so I can collapse this here, and I'm going to need to take this rotate 3D on um, a vector 0 degrees and the same animation. Okay, so now if I set here overflow hidden, then this works nicely. Now let's see if I change the sign here, it's not going to work properly anymore. So uh, this means that I need to change the sign of the rotation here in the rotation animation. So here I'm going to have calc uh, q times. So this should do it. And I should have, okay. Um, here I'm going to need to add a delay. So uh, this one is going to be um, a sign plus one uh, times um, minus a quarter of the animation duration. So um, yeah, this uh, this does it, and it works both ways. 
Now, something else I can do is set a nice background instead of that solid chocolate volume. Um, and I'm going to get rid of this opacity. I'm going to get rid of the box shadow. Um, and here I'm going to set URL. Um, 50% color. And now I should see the background. Okay. And one more thing I can do here is background blend mode, something like luminosity. Um, so, um, yeah, something like this. And I can also set on the body, I can set something like um, background gray. And, and I can also set height, 100 viewport height units. Uh, set a perspective, something like this. Um, margin. And let's make it a bit uh, more obvious, like this. Okay. So, um, yeah, something like this. I think this looks good. So, uh, this is it. A pure CSS uh, shaded cube. Um, you're going to find the link to, the, to this finished demo in the description below. And if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments or send them on Twitter. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please consider supporting my work in one of the ways explained in the description, with a donation, by getting me something off my Amazon wishlist, or at least by sharing this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days, because I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.